Now, political parties are putting their ducks in a row for the 29th of May uh, general elections. Various parties have announced their preferred candidates for, for provincial premiers, and the Democratic Alliance in Gauteng has Soliem Samanga as the premier candidate. What is the DA offering the people of Gauteng if it wins the premiership? I am joined by Soli and Samanga here in studio. Thank you so much for your time this evening. We do appreciate it. Now, the DA launched its uh, manifesto in the Western Cape and the slogan is a vote for the DA is a vote for the province that works. Yeah. Does Gauteng work? Well, Gauteng needs to work. It's not working. <laughs> we have a premier that is now so desperate that is going around promising all sorts of things that are not going to be delivered. He's promising 500,000 jobs. He's promising to pay people 8,000 rent as a stipend um, every month. That's 4, uh, that's 4 billion rent every month. Where's that money going to come from? He's promising people, um, you know, two, two extra bedrooms in each and every four room that you have plus a garage. Where's that going to come from while they've been able to address the issue of the backlog of housing? We have an economy that is actually not growing as it's supposed to be growing, which is then bringing the whole of South Africa down. As you would know, um, Gauteng is bringing almost 35% um, of South Africa's uh, GDP. And therefore, if we're not able to then move as we're supposed to be moving, then we're not going to be um, um, you know, um, getting South Africa where it needs to be. We're sitting with energy crisis, that we don't have a plan around uh, Gauteng what needs to be done. Our infrastructure is falling apart. Schools. Uh, you go to Hamans Kras, you look at the school um, where kids are still using, um, you know, bucket um, toilet if, as we speak. You're still having kids that are using um, asbestos, um, you know, roofs in, in, in schools. You go to clinics, you go to hospital. You go there to die. You don't go there to, you know, to get alive. These are signs of showing that a government is unable to then turn around the government that is failing. And that's what we now need to then change. So you've mentioned a couple of things. Are those going to be your priorities? 